organized, ruthless, fast, equipped professionals. This is how criminal thieves are stealing from unsuspecting members of public by using sophisticated equipment and great speed. Within 60 seconds to 5 minutes, your catalytic converter will no longer be under your vehicle. It's happening across the world, in the US, in the UK, in Asia, in Africa, in Kenya, Nairobi, and across the towns. And just like that, it's gone, gone for good. This is how generally a catalytic converter looks like. The work of a catalytic converter is to clean harmful emissions from the engine by oxidizing and reducing the harmful chemicals that the engine, when it burns the fuel by the combustion, it produces those harmful gases. And these are much cleaner and safer emissions than the ones produced by the engine combustion. So that is how a catalytic converter works in short. In some countries, a mandatory requirement for every car to be fitted with a catalytic converter, and these converters were put in use from 1970. But at some point, they're made mandatory almost uh, in every country in the world. The exhaust system is made up of the exhaust, exhaust pipe, the catalytic converter, that is the catalytic converter, and the muffler or the silencer. So the silencer is actually to suppress the sound that would be produced because of the vehicle emitting the exhaust uh, gases. This is where you will find your catalytic converter or in quotes what they call the muffler this is this will be the muffler which is between the engine and the muffler and it is in the middle of the car so assuming this is your car the tailpipe is at the end of the car it's usually at the back of the car and this is where the exhaust, exhaust fumes come out catalytic converter will be between in between the muffler and the engine it is usually it is usually found at the center now how do mechanics steal your catalytic converter because what they want to do is to access this honeycomb or this ceramic mesh which contains the precious metal explained explained previously and to do that the catalytic converter beneath your car is within the exhaust metal and there is a shield which is beneath the, catalyt the, catal the catalytic converter and which prevents easy access to this item inside here. Pre uh, in, the, in, in, in earlier days, they would cut of your catalytic converter completely cut it off and put a pipe that would connect your exhaust pipe directly to the muffler so they would they would put they would completely remove this component and put a pipe but that was too conspicuous because people would notice that it is removed so they came up with uh, another method whereby they will cut this part of the catalytic converter remove the honeycomb so this is left without any 
system that would clean the harmful emissions from the engine and that would directly be released to the atmosphere and which is uh, polluting, which would be polluting the environment. Insert a wire mesh. Insert a wire mesh in your catalytic converter and then they will weld back that piece of metal. So, if you notice your catalytic converter has been welded, just know your honeycomb or your ceramic mesh and this precious metals gone. So, if you notice in your exhaust system, there is a direct pipe that goes from the engine direct to the muffler and your car is less than 15 years old, just know your catalytic converter is gone. There is another method that mechanics can use to remove the catalytic converter contents, which is the honeycomb, uh, from your car. This depends with the design of your exhaust pipe and the connection of the catalytic converter to the exhaust pipe. They can loosen one side of the exhaust pipe have access to the catalytic converter and chip out the ceramic mesh which is contained by the catalytic converter canister and this way they'll be able to remove the catalytic converter contents this is another method in which the catalytic converter can be removed. So what are some of the measures that one can take to prevent the theft of a catalytic converter? Number one and most important, it's awareness. Having the knowledge that there is an expensive common component in your car and which needs protection, just like any other components of the car. And fitting an alarm system is one of the ways that can alert people when your car is being tampered with. Number two, safe parking zones. Safe parking zone means park your car where there is enough lighting and a high traffic so that any thief or any untoward person may not have the comfort of going underneath, you, underneath the car to be able to remove the catalytic converter. So it's very important to park in a safe parking zone and especially where, where there is CCTV coverage. Number three, you can mark the catalytic converter with the car identification. And you can also use heat resistant paint to paint your catalytic converter with a special paint. So that is one of the things that you can do to distract or discourage someone being tempted to remove your catalytic converter. Number four, there are special welding that can be done to reinforce the catalytic converter within the exhaust system and the body of the vehicle to discourage any person with intentions of uh, removing the catalytic converter from the car. The other thing that you can do is to use a trustworthy garage or a mechanic, a specific mechanic and who will be aware, both of you will be aware that your car has got a catalytic converter. And finally, do not leave your car for long periods of time in a garage unattended. That is very, very important and this is how the catalytic converter is removed because then the unscrupulous mechanics will have enough time to remove your catalytic converter. Those are the six recommendations which may be helpful in terms of protecting the theft of a catalytic converter from your car.